friends, I'm Lucy and I'm here for Advent Calendar, Hail Satan, and the Tray of Consequences for day number 16. So get ready for that metal chocolate moment of your day. And today I'm going to speak about the folk metal Brazilian band called Stuatadana. Exactly. So um, they have just released the eighth full album called The Nameless some days ago. And um, well, I already had the chance to purchase it. And um, on Bandcamp, by the way, I will let the, the link um, in case you just feel like to support them. Um, for us here in Europe, uh, it's not possible to have the physical copies, um, but for the digital tracks, yes. And I'm happy because I'm do, I, I've done, because it's, it's a masterpiece. So really, this is um, the eighth album uh, of 30 years of career living uh, from music in brazil metal music in brazil so imagine how difficult that can be it's everywhere but in brazil it's extreme uh, extreme difficult i'm sure and well they just got a super album it's an album this album is like um uh like they just um could not see, stay quiet or be blind, uh, seeing all the injustice and all um, what everything what the former president of Brazil had done with the with the country. So uh, the extreme poverty and everything what came with their that um, government uh, really devastated the population, and they could not just ignore that. Or avoid not speaking about it so that's what we see on this album so all the Celtic legends were go are gone somehow and what we see it's a polemic uh, revolutionary uh, revolutionary lyrics and um, yeah that's why it's so much more interesting um, for us at least for the people who followed uh, the whole uh, catastrophe, political catastrophe in Brazil. So it's really, really interesting, and it's dark. Uh, it's darker in somehow, of course. It's still folk metal, but it's darker. And the guitars are the highlights, in my opinion. Really nice riffs, and they are so balanced with this folk metal um, of atmosphere. Uh, that it sounds really, really good. And, well, I could say that the, the vocals of Bruno Maia, the singer, by the way, yesterday was his birthday. Happy birthday, parabéns, Bruno! <laughs> um, so his vocals are also uh, with highs and, and, and lows, and yeah, it sounds great. So it's really, really cool. And um, two are my favorite tracks. One is called The Virgin's Tower, uh, which I believe the lyrics are related to a woman who was tortured many years ago uh, during a dictatorship, um, which happened in Brazil as well. Um, and this track that you have just listened called The Clown or Clown. I suppose this is connected to the former president. Am I right? I don't know. Please let me know. <laughs> and yes, so that's it. What an album, heavier and really a good tip if you are into all um, this folk thing and uh, and also uh, if you want to know more about uh, these difficult times that Brazil faced it and now they are just rebuilding. And this is a lot of work, rebuilding the country. Yeah, so that's my tip for today. Uh, yeah, see you tomorrow then. Stay glorious!